is this the best 5 inch LCD display you can find on the market currently? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Ben from Art Tire Origins, and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the 5 inch LCD display from Turing. Let's get it. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to unbox this screen first and see what's inside, and then I'll show you guys how to install it. So inside here, we have a USB-A to USB-C cables, a USB 2.0 header, and this one goes into your motherboard, and this will go into your screen here. A micro SD card that goes into your 5-inch LCD display here, a stand for your LCD screen, so if you want to just set it aside and don't want to mount it into your PC case, you can definitely do it with this. And then we have the mounting bracket, which I'll show you guys how to install later. And then we have the screen itself. This specific model, it's in black. They also come in white. So this is the white version. Essentially, if you're just connecting it to your motherboard, this is the only cable you need. All we have to do is just grab this part, just kind of plug it in here. And then you can plug this one into your motherboard. So I'm gonna install this in I'm going to install this screen onto a PC and then I will plug this into the motherboard and then I will show you guys how to uh, do configure the app. It's super easy and user friendly. There's also this uh, micro SD card. You have to put it in. So let's go ahead and put, put this one in. Soft click, just like that. And then we're ready to put it into our PC. I have my test bench set up over here. It's nothing too crazy. It's just a 3060 Ti and like a Ryzen 3 chip. I'm not sure what's in there. It's been so long, I forgot. And then I also have my portable monitor set up over here. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting a portable monitor like this for yourself, instead of like a regular 27 inch, I will also link it down in the description below. So uh, for folks who need like a portable monitor, this is something we got from Amazon for like a hundred bucks. This one is a 1080p 60 Hertz monitor. Nothing too crazy over here. Uh, let's get the job done so we just need something to display so if you guys want me to do a review on this 1080p 60 hertz monitor over here be sure to comment down below and let me know so i'm just going to use the test bench here and then kind of show you guys how to plug in the connectors basically just one connector is not too hard all right let me go ahead and power this off so i can kind of show you guys how to do it all right so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna locate where your usb 2.0 header on your motherboard is typically a motherboard will come with two usb header and we have both right over here so you can do with it uh, whichever one it doesn't really matter and let's go ahead and plug that one in and you want to make sure the one without a hole face down so it goes in like that and boom that's it on the motherboard and then you have the other side of the connector that goes in to your lcd display over here so just go ahead and plug that one in. Boom, just like that. And then we're done with the installation. Super easy. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and power on the test bench. So while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go through one thing real quick. So when you open up the manual, you see they tape like a little patch note over here that says, 5D software and instruction download link goes to here. So this is just a Google Drive download link where they put all the software and files in here. Uh, what we're gonna do later is we're gonna look up this link and then download all the stuff from there. I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so now that the PC has booted up, like I said, we're just gonna go to the link over here. I will link this one down in uh, the description below. So if you guys can don't have the access to this for some reason, you can always look it up in the video description. So let's open up Chrome. Okay, and then we're gonna type this one in HTTPS. Make sure you follow the exact capital for, for the link. Go. Okay, so now we're in this Google Drive file where it says there's a bunch of five inch software instruction and all that stuff. All we need is this thing right here. So you're gonna download this click download on that then it should start downloading and then what you get is it's gonna start zipping the file 
we already have that, so I'm just gonna cancel download. Once you have the file download, it's gonna look something like this. Be sure to unzip your folder first before you do proceed with anything. And then you're gonna scroll all the way down and double click the USB monitor L right here. So double click that. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Select yes. Now the, the software is gonna boot up and start reading some info. And here is where you can select all the stuff. So there's already a lot of pre-installed theme ready for use. Let's go ahead and select one real quick, like the Cyberpunk one. And then we can hit run. And then it should just show up here right away in just a second after it's done rendering. Oh, there we go. As you can see, everything is already ready to go. It has uh, the CPU, Ryzen 3, 1200 the RTX 3060 Ti, 80 gigabytes of RAM, and then it has the time, volt, the data as well. So it's pretty much plug and play. All you have to do is just hit one button, let it render, you have a, a screen panel to monitor your temperature and stuff. So let's say if you, if you don't want this orientation, you can always hit uh, stop over here and then uh, click on the rotation zero degrees because since this is a vertical uh, sensor panel there's uh, it's only zero and 180 degrees so you can hit zero and then it should be uh, rotate 180 degrees so this is the way it looks like now and then you can also adjust the brightness say you want it darker you want it brighter so i would say this is very very user friendly if you're just looking into getting a sensor panel but you don't want to like uh, a lot of customization. You only want like a beginner friendly, user friendly kind of sensor panel. It still give you the aesthetic. This is definitely the one to go for because it eliminates a lot of the things that could go wrong because it already has all the pre-installed template here. All right, let's, I'll show you guys another one real quick over here. Let's say you want the NZXT version, right? And then we're gonna hit run, boom. Same thing, it already has the CPU, GPU, RAM, SSD, upload and download speed. If you don't want fancy color, you want something a little bit more low key and a little bit more gamer looking. We have this uh, Asus ROG Strix template. And then you can also go into the settings and then change some of the stuff out that you don't, oh, and change all the, some of the stuff out that you don't want. So let's say you don't like that you have a Ryzen 3 1200 CPU, you can always you know, change it to something else like a 7900X. And then you just hit save. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, render one more time. So you can see here, now it has changed to a Ryzen 9 7900X. Pretty sweet, right? Well, if you don't wanna do that, you can always select auto and then save one more time. It should just set to auto by determining what kind of components you have in there. If you want to do a little bit more customization, you can always select the theme setting, click on it, and then you will be prompted with this thing here where it says that uh, you can adjust the text, the data, status bar, image, clock, charts, all that stuff. And then you can also configure it to where you want it to locate exactly with the X and Y axis on here. I'm not gonna go into deep dive into this. So this video is not actually sponsored by Turing. We went ahead and purchased this two five inch LCD display monitor and tried them out so you don't have to. And they're actually for sale on Amazon for $69.99 if I'm not mistaken. And it comes in black and white. Obviously, if you have a white bill, you want to use the white version. And you have a black bill, you want to use the black version. And I want to talk about the, the mounting style a little bit here. So personally, I have a Lian Li O11 Dynamic Evo case. It's one of the popular cases uh, out in the market right now by Lian Li. If you're familiar with it, it has three intake on the bottom and three exhausts on the top. Uh, as well as side intake or exhaust, whichever configuration you want to use them and also one exhaust at the back. You can literally mount this to any of the fan screw holes as long as the clearance are there. You can either mount it to the top or to the bottom, even the exhaust at the back. So you see this L-shaped mounting bracket right here. If you bent it a little bit over the 90 degree mark, it will give you like a nice tilted angle where you can slightly see the screen above your eye level. So you don't have to always look at it perpendicular to your fans. You can even bend 190 degrees if you want to like mount it at the exhaust of the case there. 
So that's one thing that's really nice about this. So if you're a beginner gamer or even a PC builder and you want to add a sensor panel into your PC but you're not sure how to do it and also don't want to mess with a lot of like complicated configuration like IDA64 sensor panel, this is definitely a good choice for you because of its user friendliness and plug and play options. It just makes everything super easy and you can set it up in like five to 10 minutes. That's why I like recommend it so much. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And comment down below and let me know what you think about this 5-inch LCD screen display. Are you a fan of it? Do you like it? Would you want to get one for yourself? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.